Hello, everybody. Welcome back. All right, so don't let them fool you, man. They're throwing everything at crypto right now. Everything. They want it stopped, banned, gone. But the adoption is there, right? We got the NASDAQ aiming to debut crypto custody service by Q2. Like, how damn good is that? The NASDAQ, custodial service of cryptocurrencies. This is pretty big, right? Like, there's a, there's a lot of interest, right? NASDAQ announced its intentions last September as it looked to respond to the demand from institutional crypto investors. Whew. So there's a lot of demand for crypto. It's creeping in little by little. Once these people realize what it is, what's it about? You know what? They're going to go, why are we using this old system? Right? That's just how it's going to be. And Arbitrum. Whew. Arbitrum's native ARB token saw more than two billion in trading volume in the last in the first twenty four hours since going live. Data shows like that's a lot, right? That's a lot of interest there. Um, so what can you do with this ARB token right now? They're just it's right now. It's the ARB token rate serves as a means of governance for the protocol. Holders of ARB can participate in decision making processes such as proposing and voting on protocol upgrades or changes. So there you go. Um, among crypto exchanges, BitGet and Huobi led volumes with over 250 million. Uh, decentralized exchange Uniswap, which relies on smart contracts to match trades between users, saw over 227 million in trading volumes. Mm, damn. So our, you know, it's pretty volatile right now. Be careful with it. It's going to be going up and down for a while until it finds its groove. But we'll see how it goes, right? All right. On to the next thing. El Salvador President Bukele to introduce a bill that would eliminate taxes on technology innovations. Like, this is leaders that we need, right? The country in 2021 became the first nation to adopt Bitcoin as legal tender. Yes, they're all out crypto. This is amazing. Next week, I'll be sending a bill to Congress to eliminate all tax, income, property, capital gains, and import tariffs on technology innovations, such as software programming, coding, apps, and AI development, as well as computing and communications hardware manufacturing. Whoa. So this dude is all in on technology, right? They can, they can become a hub. They are like the first country to legalize Bitcoin as legal tender, which is pretty wild. It is unclear yet if this measure will extend to Bitcoin applications, but El Salvador and its president are known for being Bitcoin friendly. In 2021, becoming the first nation to make the crypto legal tender, the country's legislature earlier in 2023 passed a law paving the way for a Bitcoin backed bond. Wow. So I wonder what El Salvador's like. I wonder what the violence is like there, the how much it costs to live there. Because this is places where I want to be at. These are the places where I want to live, set up shop, you know, crypto friendly, always growing, always adapting. This is where I want to be. And I'm sure the weather's nice, but I don't know. Do they get hurricane seasons and stuff like that? I don't know. El Salvador. I have to check it out. Man, this is where you want to be around people like this, right? Not around people like sleepy Joe Biden and people like that. Kamala Harris. Wow. These people are stupid, <laughs> real stupid. All right, so NASDAQ making moves. They want to be a custodian of cryptocurrencies by the end of Q2, which is not too far off, man. <laughs> Arbitrum, be careful. It's a little volatile right now. Wait till it finds its groove maybe before you start getting involved. But man, probably going to have a nice future. In El Salvador, President Bukele to introduce a bill that would eliminate taxes on technology innovations. Wow. Let's see our presidents and prime ministers catch up to this dude, right? They won't because they're too corrupt. Countries like this, they can bust out of things and like take over and be the new, the new hub and this and that. But these other big countries, they've been in the game so long. They're so corrupt. Man, they don't want to change nothing. These little guys could be our saviors because they can actually take out the big guys when the whole crap hits the fan kind of scenario. People are going to want crypto over fake dollars and inflation and things like that big time easy to transport peer-to-peer -peer, instantaneous transactions done <laughs> all right so this is the crypto realm thanks for watching like subscribe comment play hard trade smart hello fellow adventurers are you tired of lugging around those big heavy and noisy generators on your camping trips well 
you're in luck. The Blue Eddy generator is here to make your life easier and your camping experience more enjoyable. Let me tell you, these generators are game changers. They're ultra portable and lightweight, making them perfect for taking on the go. And don't be fooled by their small size. These little guys pack a powerful punch. You can power up your devices, lights, and even small appliances like blenders or coffee makers, all with ease. But here's the best part. The Blue Eddy generators are super quiet. That's right, no more noisy interruptions to your peaceful camping experience. You can power up your gadgets without disturbing the peace and quiet of the great outdoors. And the utility of these generators doesn't stop there. They're also great for emergency backup power during power outages or natural disasters. Keep your lights on and your devices charged no matter what life throws your way. So why settle for those clunky, noisy, and heavy generators when you can have a portable and powerful solution that makes your camping life easy? In our pinned comments, you will find a link to Blue Eddy. Check them out today.